Resistors take on various forms and are present as parasitic elements in your circuits. What exactly mm -hmm. is their function? Imagine this as a highway made of copper. It's cheap and has low resistance. So it becomes the highway for the flow of electrons. We can think of the trucks as electrons. And the balls they carry are electrical energy. Everything around the road is an insulator. If the road is blocked, the trucks can't continue. If we extend the road with a material that has a higher resistivity than copper, such as carbon film, the trucks can still move forward, but they'll need to navigate around obstacles along the way. These obstacles represent the atoms within the material. Whenever the trucks hit or turn around these obstacles, they lose some of their balls, and that energy turns into heat. Why add obstacles for the electrons? It's actually to control the energy in the circuit. For instance, if the power supply provides more electrical energy than a lead light bulb needs, the excess energy could damage the bulb dot by adding a resistor to the circuit. It's like placing an obstacle on the road. When the current passes through, it consumes some of the energy, so that only the amount of energy required to light the bulb is delivered, preventing damage. Although converting energy into heat doesn't seem very efficient, resistors are a cheap and reliable way to protect sensitive circuits. When balancing simplicity, cost, and functionality, this small loss is acceptable. Just like the long resistor road seen here, the resistor might need to be longer depending on the circuit's requirements, making it harder for electrons to pass through. However, to save space, people will bend the conductive materials, which shortens the length. This is why the resistor symbol in electrical diagrams is drawn this way.